Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is David Hood and Brandon Rink with TigerNet.com at the ACC football kickoff in Charlotte here at the West in Charlotte uh, in downtown. So today, day two, no Clemson. That's coming on day three. A couple of Clemson ties. Of course, Duke was here today. They play Clemson in the season opener on Labor Day night in Wallace Wade Stadium. Of course, Florida State was here today. They get Clemson in game four. A lot of people wondering, will Florida State be the new darling of the conference? Will they be picked to win it this year? Let's talk about Duke. Duke came in, Mike Elko, he told me he's 0-5 against Davo Sweeney. He had three years as the defensive coordinator for Dave Clawson at Wake Forest, 2014-16. to And then in 18 and 19, he was the defensive coordinator for Jimbo Fisher at Texas A&M when the Tigers went out to Aggieland and won, and then Texas A&M came to Clemson the next year and also lost. So he said, I'm 0-5 against Dabo. He would love to change that. But for Duke, not a lot of smack talk. It was more about this is an opportunity. They went 9-4 and four last year. They beat UCF 30-13 to 13 in the, the bowl game, the military bowl. So they feel like they are on the way up. And they just see this Clemson game as an opportunity for them to put a further stamp on their program for Florida State. Look, no trash talk there. Nothing that they anybody could use as any type of fodder or locker room material. It was just like one game at a time. Clemson is great. We'll play that game when we get to it. Nothing that could be you know, attributed to smack talk. Mike, Mike Norvell said, hey, Clemson's kind of the gold standard. Same thing that Mike Elko said from Duke. So for Florida State, it was just like we're not going to ruffle any feathers, but you can tell there's a lot of confidence with that program. And then we just finished with Tony Elliott. We'll have more from him later. But a lot of the questions centered on the tragedy that that Virginia program endured last season. They do feel like the offense is going to be better. They've got a transfer quarterback in from Mox, uh, Monmouth. They've got a running back back this year. A lot of uh, hope in Virginia, but they may be picked to finish last in the ACC when the preseason polls come out. This is David Hood with TigerNet.com here in Charlotte.